My name is Caleb Wallace, and welcome to episode one of The Chase. A documentary series that takes you guys along with me on my new journey as a D3 basketball player. So I like to start my days with a solid morning routine. I actually started geeking out over like self-help YouTubers five years ago. <laughs> so people like Matt Diabella and you know people like that and picking up on some of their like healthy morning habits. And I've been trying them out for like five years now. So I start my day with a short devotional. It's basically like my spiritual meditation. And then I go into my journaling and make up my to-dos for the day, make sure I got all my tasks in line. And then I read about like 10 pages of, of a book. Then I usually like to go out in the mornings when it's like still cool out and I like to hop in the hot tub. It's kind of just like a quiet time for me where I get away from everything. To me, there's nothing better than just going out in the hot tub, like especially when it's raining like it was earlier and then just chilling. Then after that, I just like to do some work. So like my most productive hours are in the morning. So I like to just do an hour or two hours focused work and whether it be editing or school work, I just like to get like an hour or two of focused work. So I have an exam this week, studied for that a little bit. Um, and now I'm gonna go grab some lunch and then I need to shop for mom for Mother's Day because tomorrow's Mother's Day and I'm not prepared, but she deserves a go gift. So we're gonna go find something. We're about to go grab some lunch, like I said, um, then do the Mother's Day thing. And then I'm gonna work out with dad later tonight. And then that's basically my day. I don't really got much planned today. It's a Saturday and it's finals week. So really just studying, getting lunch, and then doing the workout, so. Another day, another dollar. I believe it's time to get to work. <laughs> that was cringe. That was so cringe. Yeah, it, was, it was so good. Ugh. I'm ready to be home in the summer. Yeah. Don't have to worry about class. You still got a lot of jobs set up, don't you? Yeah, I got a few shoots this summer. I think two weddings, so, because one got canceled and then just some social media stuff. The, the NFL player um, is going to use me as an editor. Yeah. Nice. For two videos a month, so it's like not even a big commitment, but. That'll be nice though. Is he going to buy Scooter? Scooter, yeah. I figured that'd be good for me because I'm still making money, but then I'm not like, I can focus on my content too. Yes, yeah, so for like the last four or five years, I have been heavily passionate about content creation. That I started like four or five years ago with my own stuff, and then the last two years, I've actually been editing for some celebrities, so that's been a really cool experience for me. I remember being a freshman and starting a YouTube channel and just like how excited it made me feel to make videos and post them online. I actually got teased pretty hard my first two years of high school, like. I remember walking through the hallways and people like mocking my cringy username at the time and like laughing at me in the hallways. I remember teachers pulling up my videos to get a good laugh out of the class. It may have seemed like they were laughing with me. It, it was clear they were not. They were, they were laughing at me. I remember quitting my channel shortly after that. You know, as a young high school kid, it was just really hard to see your peers like kind of teasing you a little bit. So I decided to call it quits and for the next two years is when I started like editing behind the scenes for other people. I've worked with some amazing creators like Destroying, he's the one I've worked for the most probably. And I've learned a ton from him about like the algorithm, the way it works and you know the editing techniques you need to use and then the creative techniques you need to use. So I had the editing talent but I lacked some of the other like influential assets that I needed to be successful. But now that I know some of those assets and I have the creative talent as an editor, I think there's no better time for me to start my own stuff now and make a name for myself. I'm gonna, I hit up Jordan McCabe today. See if I can go out, fly out there for like a 1v1 video or something. How's he doing? I haven't heard back from you in a while, so I don't know. Is he still in Las Vegas? Yeah. UNLV, I think. I think he's got one more year. I will say there's nothing more that I love than watching you play basketball. But when I'm at a high school game now, there's no stress involved. It's just pure enjoyment. Yeah. Honestly, senior year, I never really felt stress playing them. I still felt stress watching. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Feels good to be getting in the gym again. I didn't think I'd be being here anymore in the off season anymore. 
thought I was about to call it wraps, but it feels good to get back after it. That's for sure. Glad I didn't give up on it. To see Caleb going through a tough time, just not knowing if uh, if he loved the game, if he had that passion for the game, uh, because he's definitely at his best when he's having fun. And I could just tell that he wasn't having a lot of fun out there. Um, so, you know, that hurts as a dad. Uh, you watch him grow up and have this childhood dream to play college basketball and, and achieve that dream wow. and, and be a two-year starter and be a great contributor. But uh, just being a little bit burnt out, um, not having fun at it. So th that was really hard for me. Well, heads up. <laughs> the dad shooting bricks over here. <laughs> if I hit the camera woman. <laughs> Man, it's fun to get back in the gym. I'm telling y'all, man, a month ago, I didn't think I was playing anymore. Thought I was done, it's burnout. out, didn't enjoy it, didn't have a good experience. But, you know, I found the right fit, and now I, I can't be even more excited. So, I never let a drill beat you. Oh, that one almost got me, but we good. Man, it was awesome just seeing him back in, and not just today, but been back in for a few weeks now, and. Honestly, I didn't know if he was ever going to play ball again, uh, and that was devastating to me because I love I love seeing him play. I can't tell you how many balls that I've rebounded over the past 20 years, but it's been a lot, and it's fun for me to be back in the gym. You know, it's nice to keep chasing that childhood dream I once had. So keep chasing that dream, even even when times get tough. You know, keep uh, keep working towards it because um, uh, it's putting you for a reason. And uh, yeah, you're made to make a difference. So. Oh, we're up to six. I know we are. It's a week by week basis. It's four. We're up to six right now. If I miss, I have to start over. Yeah, exactly. Hey, got up there. Free throws. I win games, baby! Win games!